Hello, in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about working with bulleted lists in Microsoft Word. I'll also show you how to make custom bullets and also to turn an image or an icon into a bullet. So the list we're going to work with here, we're going to kind of work with an outline here, but we're assuming that I'm planning a road trip from Boise, Idaho to El Paso, Texas. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on numbered list to start with and then we'll add a bullet later. So I'm going to go ahead and work with a numbered list here. And the first thing I've got to do here is I'm going to select the dates that I'm going to work with here. Now as you probably know, as soon as you press enter, you're going to get uh, the same level of paragraph numbering, which in this case is two. If I want to go to a lower level, I'll just hit the tab key and I do want to do that here. And so I'll go ahead and type in uh, explore work conflicts. I'll press enter. Now I'm back at that same level. If I want to go in another level, and let's just say I do here in this case, I'll go ahead and uh, press the tab key here. And some of the conflicts I may have at work are the graduation. Uh, I may have a conference. So I'll have to make sure I work around those. And again, as long as I continue to press enter, it remembers the level that I'm in. If I want to go back a level, I will do shift tab, and that takes me back to the level. All right, so once I've explored the work conflicts, I'm ready to go ahead and select the dates. And I do a shift tab again, and now I'm back at paragraph level two. Now at paragraph level two, I'm going to go ahead and plan my route. Okay, I'm gonna to have to decide whether I want to drive. I already said it was a road trip, so I've already made that decision here. Um, or do I wanna fly? And of course, I would come up with the advantages and disadvantages. All right, you get the idea here. So tab to go in a level, shift tab to go back a level. Now what I really want to do in this case is I want to make a checklist of things that I need to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in trip checklist. And I'll put in the items. This time I want a bulleted list. So I'm going to switch and I'm going to turn on bullets here. All right, and the first item I need to get, I need to get some new tires. So I'm going to do a road trip here. I need to make sure I get some new luggage. And I'll go ahead and make sure I get a pet sitter to watch my dogs. All right, easy enough. And again, just uh, backspace turns it off altogether. Now, I, I discussed making a custom bullet here, and I would like to make this more like a checklist. A little check boxes would be really nice here. So I'm going to select the bulleted items. I'm going to go back up to the bullets and numbering tool that I used to uh, turn on the bullets here in just a second. Now I could use this little circle here and I could kind of fill in the circle when it's done, but I would like to define a new bullet. So I'm going to go ahead and choose define a new bullet. And I have then a picture or a uh, symbol. And we're actually going to show you here in just a second how to turn one of your own pictures or an icon into a bullet. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and choose from some of the symbols that are already here. So I have the symbol font face here. I'm going to scroll down the list here and see if I see anything that looks like it might be a checkbox for me here or a box that I can fill in. I have quite a few different options here. I'll go ahead and just choose this option right here. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll click OK again. And now I've turned that into a checkbox. All right, that was very, very easy to do. But what I want to do now is I actually want to kind of dress it up a little bit. And I have an idea of maybe an image that I'd like to use. And the image that I'd like to use instead of this little checkbox is kind of a pencil uh, just to kind of dress it up and uh, show that oh, I can use images here. And I'll check it off with a pencil. So in order to <laughs> use a picture for a, a bullet, I have to have that picture saved. Now, I don't really have that particular picture already saved, but Microsoft Word has a whole lot of icons that I can use, and I can actually turn these into pictures, and I can then turn them into bullet shapes. So. I went into insert, I went into icon, and here are all the different icons. There's many, many different categories here. I have weather, apparel, occupations, business. Well, what I'm really looking for is a pencil or, or something somewhat related to that. Uh, again, many, many, many different categories here. I see that education has a pencil, so that's probably the one I'm looking for. I'll go ahead and click on education. And now I have several education 
related images that I can turn into a bullet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose, well, I think I'll choose this pencil. That's a little bit uh, easier to see, and I'll insert that. Now, I haven't turned that into any kind of a bullet at this point. All I've done is simply inserted the icon. Next, what I have to do to this icon is I have to turn it into an image. In other words, I have to save it as a picture file. Then once I've saved it as a picture file, I can turn it into a custom bullet. So I'm going to right click on this icon And I'm going to choose, it'll take me a couple times to get there, but uh, once I've done that, I'm going to choose Save as Picture. So I'll choose Save as Picture. The next thing I want to do is find the folder where I want to put this here. So I'll just go ahead into one of my picture folders here. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this a pencil. And I am going to change it uh, to a JPEG so that uh, Microsoft Word will understand this is something that it can use as a bullet. All right, so I'm in the pictures folder here. I'm going to go ahead and type it pencil. Pencil JPG. All right. I probably already have one here, so I'll go ahead and replace that other one that I had with this one. Uh, if you're just doing it for the first time, of course, it won't be there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these bulleted items again, the checklist. I'm going to go back to the uh, bullet tool. I'm going to choose to find new bullet just like I did a second ago to find uh, l let me backtrack just a little bit here notice that uh, the little checkbox that I added is in the bullet library that'll be available for me any documents I create from this point forward and so the cool thing is is once I do this pencil as a picture it'll also be available for future documents and I'll show you that as well so we'll go ahead and choose to find new bullet and this time instead of using symbol there might be a pencil symbol in there. I didn't see one, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose picture and choose the specific picture I want. I'm going to go ahead and choose from my own personal file list. So I'm going to browse and I will go up into my folder again where it was and I will go into and pictures here. There's my pencil. I click insert. All right, you can see what it's going to look like. That looks perfect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And now I've changed the checkbox to a pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this document. I'm not going to save it. This was just an experiment I'm working with here. I don't get to go to El Paso just yet. Now when I go back into bullets, notice what's there in the bullet library the pencil is there and so I can use that anytime I need now you can create all kinds of pictures as your bullets um, obviously the more detail you have uh, with the image uh, the less it's going to show but you know so you keep simple Im images black and white are, are typically pretty good all right so there you see how easy it is to work with bulleted lists and numbered lists you've also seen how easy it is to create a custom bullet and create your own bullet from an image all right if you like this video please consider liking it please consider subscribing I just have lots of videos coming out and lots of videos already there uh, you can go to my website and find step-by-step -step instructions thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video